All right, let's see how this goes. Hello, everyone. Hello, Facebook Live. It is your host, Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO. And I'm actually interested to see how this poll is going to go. So um, I've never done an actual poll online, but it looks like we are live. All right, so let me pull it up and see. Hey, Medina. Hey, hey, Joseph. How are you, Joseph? I got dressed up for your podcast, so I might as well go live. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I don't know if you can actually see the poll. So... Ah, there we are. Look at that. There you go. Um, is it Baldy? How are you? So welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So yes, there is a poll. I don't know how it publishes. Um, I think there's a little... There it is. Awesome. So my question to you, super excited. Hey, Joseph, how are you? So... Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about product launches and what you're going to do in the next 70 days because there's only about 70 days left in the year and okay so cool you guys are taking the poll i love it i love it i love it and um yeah so as you guys are joining in make sure you take the poll and here is why okay um you have about 70 days left in 2018. You have 70 days left in the year. And here's my question to you. And I would love for you to have your responses um, in the actual you know, post below. Because I want to know, what do you plan on launching in the next 70 days? And if you are just joining on, I have a poll and I'd love for you to answer. You know, have you really truly had a product launch? Okay. And if you have not, let me tell you this, if you if you have not decided to launch something, the time is now to decide. Um, if you are under the sounds of my voice, I want you to make a decision right now, especially if you are not making your revenue goal. So if you are not generating the revenue in your business, hey, Gerald, what's up? If you're not generating the revenue in your business, there is absolutely no reason the poll result is hidden. Okay, cool. I think I can see it. So, so far, no one that has joined has actually done a true product launch. Kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. Oh, published results. Oh, that's kind of cool. There you go. Um but now the polls closed. All right, so cool. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so only one person answered the poll. Okay, cool. We'll do this. So have you had a true product launch? All right, so I do want to open the poll back up. Um, yes, and kind of cool. So this is a new option. Um, and so as you guys are joining, you guys can, there we go. So new poll, awesome. Hey doc, what's up girl? Say hey Trianda. Um, all right, so we're talking a little bit about product launches, true product launches. Um, so we have, a, we have an active poll. If you guys are just joining, I would love for you to answer the poll whether or not you have actually done a true product launch. Well, Dakeisha, what the heck is a true product launch? That means that you've actually gone through the process to plan out, like there's four phases and we'll talk about that, but you've actually planned out how you're gonna launch. Not just, oh, I've got this great idea that I wanna you know, to offer to some clients, let me start offering it. Do you realize that there is actually a strategy and a blueprint blueprint to actually getting your product out to the masses? If you are aware that there's actually a 
process to get your product out to the masses, I want you to type me if you are aware. If you've actually, you've, you've, you've launched your product and you've done a true launch cycle, and I'm going to tell you, launches are a lot of work, guys. Launches are a lot of work, okay? Um, there's actually four phases. Uh, four phases to a launch. The poll option is pretty neat while going live, right, right girl? That's why you got to stay learning. That's why you have to stay learning every day in your business because all of these different platforms, um, they change so much and so frequently. It's important to to actually, you know, stay stay up to date. Hey, Amber, what's up, girl? Um, hey, Shanice, I believe that is. So, and one of the things that uh, you guys, if you've been in my tribe, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am very, very, very serious about webinars. And I've been studying. I've been back in. You, know, you guys know I study every single day. Like training Thursday is on the way. I can't wait to learn something new. But I've been studying. And because I'm perfecting, like we did a five-figure launch, okay? Um, we did our first five figure launch. And so as I want to, as we go through and debrief and we look at what we could do better, it makes me, it forces me to study what areas of the launch I can do better. Okay. So next time, yeah, it's going to be a five figure launch, but it's going to double. And so there's certain things that needs to be in place in order to get there. And I'm making sense to anybody. Show me some hearts, show some love, show a girl something. But anyway, um, here's, you know, here's what I'm asking you. Like, have you put together your launch strategy? If you haven't, that should be a concern. Like, that's a problem. And so I want you, I want you to ask yourself, what can you launch? Okay. Like, forget that you don't have anything launched. What can you launch by the end of the year? What can you launch by the end of the year? And I want you to think about something. I want you to think about it, okay? Uh, what do you have in your product suite that you can launch, okay? And so there's four phases and there's a planning phase. The planning phase is where you start to develop your budget. Well, what do I need a budget for? Hey, Natasha, hi, baby. What do I need a budget for? Well, you're going to have to spend some money, whether it's some type of advertising, right? You're going to have to spend some money. So you've got to determine how much money do you have that you can spend on your launch, whether it whether it's a program, whether it's an online product, whether you're doing it from a workshop. You know, I typically teach a lot of people to do, to sell their programs. Hey, Marsha says, I teach, you, I typically teach, you know, my tribe, my students to actually launch from digital events. But that does not mean that you can't host workshops and live events and actually sell your products as well. Marsha, what are you launching in the next 70 days? Tierney, what are you launching in the next 70 days? You guys, there's a poll. Have you had a true product launch? And I'm seeing no. It's 100% no. And a few people have actually taken the actual poll. So let's talk about that for a bit. OK, and um, if you think that someone in your tribe needs to hear this message on product launch, do me a favor and type um, or hit the share button and uh, you can type in the comments hashtag shared. Let me know that you actually share this out. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, number two, as you guys are joining, sometimes I can and cannot see who's joining. Do me a favor. I appreciate those, Marsha and Tierney, that actually said hello. Let me know where you are joining me from. Uh, and I want you to see that there is a vast majority of people that are outside of the Richmond, Virginia, Chesterfield, Virginia area. Craziness. Okay. I'm working on something now. Awesome. I need to be launching everything right about now awesome thank you for sharing amber that's right you guys what can you launch if you don't have something prepared and so the reason that i asked for you to introduce yourself is because 
now you can see the power of the digital platform. Tennessee, is that Alabama? You guys can see the power of going live, okay? I got Arkansas. Like, um, I don't know if you guys, Joseph, I don't know if Joseph is still on here. Joseph, let us know where you're from. We have a participant in our program from South Africa, you guys. Like, listen, for those of you all that are procrastinating and allowing fear to block your financial blessing, I don't even know what else to tell you. I'm not right. I'm not. I'm right there with you. Listen, if you are not positioning yourself to serve your audience, you're being selfish. I know that hurt, but you are. We got Florida in the house. Hey, Kareem. Kareem, let us know where you are joining us from. What part of the world are you in? Okay. And the reason why I say you're being selfish is because God gave you a gift. God gave you a gift. God gave you an idea to implement in order to generate income. You write this down. Idea plus implementation equals income. Idea plus implementation equals income. God gave you an idea. You did not implement on the idea and you wonder why you're not making money. Hey, Luciana. I think Luciana is coming to us from North Carolina, Charlotte to be exact, if I'm not mistaken. Let us know where you guys are coming from. Philly. Um, you know, I love going live. Stories to building brand awareness and giving value. No, absolutely. You're absolutely right. Hey, is it? Oh, Kadia? Did I say it right? Hey, Kadia, how are you, sweetie? Um, I think that's one of my BBD members. Woo -woo. No, you're in the OBM group. Woo -woo. And Mama Shalada is out there. So, um, so listen. So, I'm trying to get you guys ready to to close out, you know, the year with a bang. Like all jokes aside, you still got you still have time to close out the year with a bang. So, I'm not going to keep you long, but I did want to talk to you about the four key areas or the four phases to doing an effective product launch. I did great. Idea plus implementation equals income. God gave you an idea for you to implement to generate income. It is irresponsible and it's impossible to generate income if you don't implement on the idea that God gave you. That's a whole nother conversation, whole nother conversation. And IG stories, Facebook live, those are great. But here's my question to all of you that go live. And I say this when we do the webinar challenge. Are you monetizing from the platform? Are you monetizing from the platform? Tierney said, this is truly from God. I needed to hear it today, honey. Well, listen, this message is for you. If I came on live just for you, I am here for you. This is why I said, hey, Celestine, girl. This is why I tell you. Um, your knowledge, your experience is not for you. You went through the process to learn, right, to educate yourself. But now it's time for you to give back. You give back in the means of helping and serving your clients, but you can attach a dollar amount based on the value of the service that you're going to provide. Fantastic. That's, she said, I'm monetizing, but I want more. So it's time for you to scale. I love it, Marshall. That's my sis from Black CEO Morning Show. Um, hey, Raymond, how are you? So here, listen, listen to me. Hear me out. And if you guys are just joining, do me a favor, please, and take the poll. Because I would love to know, um, have you actually had a true product launch and if you have not actually launched that's probably why you're not meeting your revenue goal and so far no one that has joined has actually said yes oh it hurts okay and so so let me tell you real quickly there's four phases to a effective product launch and there's so much that goes into it that people don't tell you or, or you don't see OK, there's so much to to actually actually getting your product out there. And here, let me tell you, let me tell you a secret. Y'all ready? Are you listening? Say ready. Type ready. You can put the ear emoji if you want to. Webinars. And, you know, I absolutely live and die by webinars because for me, webinars, digital events is how I build my business. Right because I was not able to speak on other platforms. I built my own platform. 
but webinars is just a small portion of an effective product launch. Write that down. Webinars is a very small portion to an effective product launch. Mm. Mm. What, Dakisha? You mean to tell me there's more? Yeah, baby girl. Yes, honey pie. There's more. Um, so there's four phases that you should actually really consider. And I want you to write this down. So there's the planning phase. So this is where you determine what you will be offering. I, I, I ask each of you that are joining me today, what are you going to offer in the next 70 days? What are you going to launch in the next 70 days? So once you determine what you're going to launch, right? You determine who do you need on your team to help you get this done? Do you need to add, do you need to outsource some of the activity? Let me tell you something. There is a registration pages, thank you pages, sales pages, email sequences, messenger bot sequence, um, email marketing sequence, opt-in forms that need to be set up. I could go on and on and on about what needs to be set up to have an effective launch. And that's just a quarter of what you need to have an effective launch. Did I just hurt your head? Sorry, not sorry. All right. So planning. You have to plan and decide how much you're going to spend in order to, to get the word out about your launch, right? You have to plan in order to decide what it is that, you know, what, what product you want to launch. What about the technology that you need? I just rambled off Brother Bedford. Brother Bedford, what you're launching. <laughs> Welcome, Brother Bedford. Uh, Brother Bedford is from, I believe, Michigan, Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. So we have Arkansas, Alabama, Florida, um, I believe London earlier um, that are joining us for today. So the question is, we talked about registration pages. We talked about landing pages. We talked about email marketing. What technology do you need to use in order to launch within the next 70 days. That's still the planning phase, my friend. Then you have the pre-launch. You have your pre-launch. Well, Lord Jesus, Dakisha, what is in the pre-launch? Well, how are you going to promote that you've got something cooking up in the kitchen, right? So this is where you start to advertise. This is where you start to make some noise you can use the messenger bots, text messaging systems. You can use Facebook lives, okay? Oh, we got another Charlotte in the house. Um, Luciana's in Charlotte as well. And so the pre-launch is how am I going to make noise in order to create awareness about my new program that I'm offering? All right, so the best part Lord, and it's the most demanding part because this entire process is just, it's a long process. And a, a launch could go from anywhere from 30, 60 days to 90 days to six months. You got it? And so the pre-launch is all about the promotion, okay? So pre-launch is, pre is all about promotion and setting all of the moving pieces together. So when you launch all of your moving parts, all of your moving pieces should be ready, should be tested. Your webinar should be set up because your webinar, let me tell you something. There's like eight or nine different launch strategies that people use. Recently, I've used a challenge launch. That means that we host a challenge for five days. You can host it up to seven, 10 days. Some people do 30. I think that's way too long. But the challenge is on the front end. And then we have a masterclass or a webinar. Um, there is a video series launch. The video series leads to what? A masterclass. How many of you scroll Facebook? Uh, when you scroll Facebook on your, you know, in your downtime, how many times throughout the day do you see a masterclass offered to you in a Facebook ad? Raise your hand. Matter of fact, I'm gonna find the little emoji if I can, and I'm gonna raise my own hand. Because I see it like every day. Can I raise my own hand? I'm going to raise my own hand. How about that? Every time I get on social media 
And regardless, while I'm going through my timeline, somebody is promoting a masterclass. That is nothing but a webinar, right? That's a webinar. You know, I spent a whole nother time talking about a webinar. So if you're not doing webinars in your business, I know you're not launching anything in your business, okay? And so your webinar needs to be set up. Your sales page needs to be ready. Your Facebook ads need to be ready. Yep, mm -hmm. you need all of this in order to have an effective launch. So once you go live and you are in the launch phase, it's all about sharing value to your audience. Hey, Corey, hey, Lavelle, thank you guys so much for joining. Let us know where you are joining from, what you do, and whether or not you've had a proof, true product launch. I appreciate you guys participating and hanging out with me. So when you go live or hit, not, not the Facebook go live, but when your launch actually go live, you're basically announcing to your audience that you have something cooking. Okay. And so this is where the value starts to come. And a lot of people do Facebook live videos and that's fine. As long as you have a call to action, okay? That is particularly fine if you want to promote your, you know, your new program um, using Facebook Live. I'm totally cool with that. You can use Instagram. You can use LinkedIn. You can use YouTube. But at the end of the day, here is the most important question. What are you doing to build your list in this launch? This is why the webinar becomes important if you want to build your list if you right now under the sound of my voice you do not have a list if you want to build your list host your first webinar host your first webinar i'm telling you what is it that they have to do in order to get the information for the webinar they have to give their name their email address and their number i ain't lying i'm just i'm just here to inform you that's all i'm doing i'm here to inform you okay because so far no one that has joined has had a true product launch. So I'm gonna help you out. Now, if you want the product launch check, product launch checklist that we are developing, I want you to comment me. I don't even care if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, right? If you want the product launch, launch checklist so that you can make sure that you have everything you need, I want you to comment me and it is in production right now. I am producing it right now. And as soon as it is delivered from our graphics department, we will make sure that you have it. But you got to tell me you want it. You got to comment me and I'll make sure that you get it. Is that cool? I see a me, 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 <laughs> me, me, me. Um, so, yes. So that is the live. But listen, here's a piece that people don't understand. This is so super important. Here's the piece that people don't understand. It's very important that you have a poach post launch sequence come on angela that one person that got on there and said they had a launch i know it was my girl i know it was my girl but listen it is so stinking important to have a post launch process here's why hey terica how are you here is why it's that important you are going to make more money on the back end side oops did i just say that I knew it was you, girl. I knew Angie K had several launches. Let me tell you something. I saw when you came in, I knew it, and it said that yes, right? I love it. I love it. I love it. That's why you out there making all that money down there in Atlanta, Atlanta GA. But tell them. You can tell them. It is super duper important is to have all, listen, listen, let me tell you, girl, you do that launch sequence, right? I'm telling you. It is plugging it up though. Yes, you 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 have to get it tight. I'm telling you. Because here's the thing, a lot of people think when they have a master class or a webinar that they get frustrated because they don't make their sales on the webinar. But a lot of people don't follow up with the people that participated either in your challenge, they participated in your webinar, your master class, and then you just go ghost. Man, listen. I pull out all strategies in my post launch and it's not just about your email sequence it is more to the email sequence and this is true even for people that are having live events let me tell you something they close people at the event and then turn around and once they get back home they have a strong follow-up process and still close 
more people on the back end on the post launch. So your post launch has to be tight. So one of the things that we're developing just for you is a product launch checklist, okay? So if you would like to get access to the product launch checklist, I want you to type me, it is in production. And listen, what questions do you guys have? This is the time to ask. Hey D, how are you? This is the time to ask about product launches because it's so important to, to launch. Like you literally have to launch. Think about, think about the music industry, right? Um, think about the movie industry, music and movie. When something, you know that something, a good movie is coming out and you, you plan, you put it on your calendar to attend because they do such a phenomenal job right? You, they do such a phenomenal job of um, creating the awareness and creating the hype. Keep going until you hit your numbers. We do go after the leads, but it's not, it's not automated. No, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Listen, you got you to gotta start where you are. Um, my my follow-up process is not 100% automated either, um, we're testing some ways to do so, but it's not, and it depends on the product investment too. Um, no, you're absolutely right, Angie. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that, but, but yes, and you do have to follow up with your leads, but back to the, 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 um, comparison when you are, you know, even with night school, this is the last movie that I went to go see. Don't y'all talk about me and don't judge me. But I mean, just think about everything that Kevin Hart did as, they um they were leading up to the release of the movie you have to think about you know you have to think about that and every dollar that he put into what i consider his launch mode right and he's still out there grinding like you you have to you have to emphasize on on the promotion so i want you to think about what product that you have in your your product suite that you can offer to your audience in the next 70 days, okay? If you have not done a webinar, I highly suggest, you can actually do a launch with just a webinar. They call it a webinar launch. Um, I like to add a little bit more pizzazz to mine. Yeah, we do the challenge. We're gonna do this one a little bit different. But if you have not hosted a webinar, shame on you. Yep, I just hit shame on you. You need to host at least four webinars by the end of this year. I said it, how many? Post it in the comments, four webinars. You can do the same webinar until the end of this year, do it at different times, right? Ah, you wanna know how I do that poll? If you go live, if you, when you schedule your live, um, it's interactions on the right-hand side. It's interactions on the right-hand side and you can type the questions. You can actually close the poll and you can have an active poll. I can actually publish the results as well. Look at me training. There you go. Uh, so there you go. Just for you, Angie K. So four. I want to see some fours in the comments. How many webinars do you need to do? You don't have to do it with me. You ain't have to be in my class to do a webinar. It's plenty of platforms out there where you can go live. You can do a webinar. I've given you plenty of platforms. All of you all can use Zoom. There's a webinar Zoom. There's a get response Zoom. Listen, I'm just telling you to do it. You ain't, you ain't got to get it right. You just got to get it got to get it going, right? You ain't got to get it right. You just got to get it going. Four, if you want to get your product out to the masses, out to your audience, period, point blank, listen, do four webinars. I'm telling you. You can get 25 people to show up on your webinar. 25 people to show up on your webinar. And if you're good, if you convert 10%, that's two and a half. And if you're really good, tell them, Angie, if you're really, really good and you close at 20%, that's like five people. And if you sell something for $9.97, how much is that? Y'all know it's getting late. And I don't do math right. A thousand dollars, twenty people, twenty-five people to show up. I didn't say register. Show up, show up, and close twenty percent. That's five thousand dollars. How many of you can use five thousand dollars? I want you to post five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Girl, don't you get on my live talk about no webinar platform? Don't you do that. But here, in your defense, because I've been on your lives, and I'm going to share 
what you do, Angie. Even though you would get on here talking about some, and she said, I know that's terrible. <laughs> yes, it's horrible. But here's what I do know that, and and as long as you continue to do this, right, I will not fuss. Because I know that you have a call to action. And I know that you go live in your group a lot. I don't know how much you go live outside of your group, but I know that you go live in your group. And I also know that most of the people that are in your group are, they're in the group because of a call to action that you, um, that you did. Okay. So you've used a different strategy and if it works for you, that's great. Um, however, one of the things that I study with true product launches, and I think you have a, a um, you have a unique product as well, and I think you have a high ticket product as well too. So, so you can, I mean, congratulations too. But yes, and so you were in a different space. So you could. The thing is, the thing of the matter is, what I don't want people to under to miss though, because I know they're probably looking at it. Oh well, she goes live. She didn't use webinar. Yeah, but Angie is very strong about making sure she has a call to action. Very, She's very strong about the technology and she's very good about the systems that she has as well. So don't get it twisted. Don't think that she out here not using webinars and she doesn't have a strategy. However, for those of you all who have never had an, a, a profitable product launch, I'm here to tell you the reason why I stress that you use webinars is because on the back end of your launch, you have their contact information. And I want to share this with you. We contact every single person that registers for our webinar. We just do. I have someone on my team, an appointment setter, that will actually make all of the phone calls on the behalf of Visions Consulting. We are just that serious. Um, we are just that serious about what it is that we do in this space. And Webinars for for our for me have have helped me grow my business. And here's the thing about it. And this is one of the things that I say. And some people say, well, I don't like to go live. I mean, I don't like to go on a camera. And that's fine. You can sell your you can sell your product from a stage. But for me, for Dakisha, I've got two kids. And when I left seven years ago, and I tell this story all the time, when I left seven years ago, it was not feasible. It was not um, it was not in the best interest for my family, for me to just pick up and leave my two kids, because number one, I had to find somebody to be here with them. So I was not getting on a plane every week to go here, here and here. OK, um, I had a kid in kindergarten. My daughter was going into the sixth grade, but it's a little bit different now. And so I'm able to travel. I'm a little bit more flexible now, right? And so I can actually travel more and I can share my message from stages now. And there, there's a second method of a platform. You guys know that I teach platform. So, and the reason why I'm saying this is because some people have built their business from 100% stages and that's fine. If you find stages where you can speak from and you can launch your product, sis, do it, do it, do you. For me, I decided August 24th, 2011 to be present for both of my children. And so therefore for 1,268 days, I've seen them get on the bus and I've seen them get off the bus. And that is what was important for me. So when I found out about the platform of webinars, it worked for my business, okay? So it worked for me. And so this is what has helped me have multiple five-figure launches in order to get to six figures. Any software we purchase integrates with webinar platforms. I can't wait until I can be more flexible to travel with my kids. My kids are two, three, four, five, and nine. I'm telling you, listen, that's my why. And so as we move into the next year, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys are new to me, so you don't know that my daughter's a collegiate gymnast, right? So she, from January to April, every weekend, you guys, every weekend, she's going to be somewhere, whether it's Ohio, New Hampshire, um, Texas, somewhere, she's going to be somewhere. So guess what? Dakeisha has to have 
a um a four day work week i've got to have a four day work week so that means i have to have systems in place i've got to replace myself in my business so that i can be there for my daughter let me tell you something if you don't know my daughter it is non-negotiable that mommy misses a meet. I'm gonna say that again. It's non-negotiable that mommy misses a meet. And in the last 12 years that she's competed, I have yet to miss one. And it's because I've been able to build my business from the comfort of my home. What is my favorite webinar platform? Well, I have a couple, I use a couple. I'll give you guys some. Um, it's all based on your, your investment level right so webinar jam is a really really huge one if i'm not mistaken there's a monthly fee to it okay so webinar jam is really huge you guys can use zoom webinars zoom webinars has stepped it up you guys zoom has stepped it up where they actually have a version of automation i call it automation so here is where i look for and i actually just did a podcast with joseph i don't know if joseph smile is on here um so yes, I know she says she um, educate homeschool, so her life has to remain location free and flexible. We do everything on Zoom. So Zoom has stepped it up, you guys, and Zoom has an option where if they log in after the fact, they can still get access as if it were like the live, like a, an automation. Okay. So Zoom has that platform now. So if you look up Zoom, Zoom webinars is really good. Um, if you're just starting out, your budget is low. Hey, Joyce. Um, you guys, you can use, I think it's Get Response Webinars is one. Um, Ever Webinar is another good one. I pay for Zoom. I just haven't used their webinar feature yet. Um, so yeah, so you guys, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. The reason that I choose webinars is because I believe in automation. Get Response has web. Yeah, girl. Get Response has webinars now. You better come on with it. No, I'm just kidding. No, they. I mean, Get Response has stepped it up. Get Response has like landing pages. They have webinars. Um, Zoom has webinars. Um, and and I'm giving you these platforms, but the thing about it is, I will use them because it's my responsibility to learn them because i teach it okay i have to be able to educate you guys you guys are asking me questions and i'm spitting out answers right so you have to be the expert in your space so i use them all i've learned them all um right and so there's always room to do better or, or to yes to do better and so even though i've used zoom webinars hey Akila, darling you call me live again the reason why I can use Zoom webinars, and y'all, I get techie. Like, I get real techie. I'll take a Zoom webinar and take it and embed it in my webinar platform. I'll turn around and automate it, put that sucker and run some ads to it and let it be. But that's the reason why I use the webinars because I don't have to consistently do the live stream over and over and over again every time I launch. Once I got a good one, Man, listen, y'all got me excited now. Y'all ask the questions too. Once I have, I have me a good webinar, I automate it. And that's the thing about it. Zoom doesn't do a true automated platform. Webinar Jam has a true automated platform. Ever Webinar has a true automated platform. I've used Webinar Ignition. They've got a pretty good automated platform. Um, Click Funnels, you guys. I don't know how many of you use. Click Funnels, but Click Funnels has a webinar, an automated webinar setup as well. They've got a live webinar platform. Thank you so much for all the hearts. I really appreciate it. That means somebody is picking up what I'm putting down. All right. But yes, yeah, so they actually, man, listen, Click Funnels, let me tell y'all, listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be real transparent real quick. And then I'm going to go because I said I won't go be long. Lord have mercy. Listen, y'all, can I tell y'all the truth real quick? Uh, where in ClickFunnels, girl, you better find that webinar. <laughs> Angie, Angie, come on, girl. No, seriously, yes, they have the automated webinar platform. They got the lab platform. Let me tell you what I like about ClickFunnels. Lord, I need to have some um some affiliate links pop popping up in here. 
Um, I love it because they have an integration where you can put a Facebook so people can comment on the webinar now using a Facebook in um, integration. ClickFunnels is where it's at, y'all. ClickFunnels is where it's at. So listen, let me tell y'all why I actually purchased ClickFunnels, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Somebody has a question, so um, so I'll answer it. <laughs> so on their um, on their their pages, like their checkout pages, right? <laughs> y'all are tearing up. Y'all are cutting up on the checkout pages. Seriously, right? So when you have a sequence, right? When I believe in sequences, I don't, I don't necessarily use the word funnels. I say sequence. It's a sequence. Y'all got, I got to dance and everything. So it's a sequence of activities, right? Or a sequence of, of of activities that a person goes through until they make the decision. So you've heard of trip wires, where you know it's a seven dollar purchase or a twenty seven dollar purchase. This is what this is what got me right here. Um. It's called a bump feature on a checkout page. How am I click funnel people use the bump feature? I could not find that feature in anything else. I'm telling you. And so let me explain to you what <laughs> I know I need to drop some affiliate links right now, right? Um, when you check out, right, it'll say, thank you for registering, but wait, I've got this $7 such and such as such, right? But you can add an additional product. So I can sell you, I can take my average sale from $7 to like $100 by adding in an $89 product or a $97 product. I can even take it to an average $50 sale or plus by adding in a $47 product. Yes, girl. What? Throw them hands up. It's an order bump. That was the only reason. So y'all can tag Russell Bronson. That was the only reason that I bought ClickFunnels. Now, to this day, I absolutely love ClickFunnels, right? But the order bump, and so what it does is when you check out, they can click to get the, the, the um, tripwire. But it, if you make your messaging right, right, if you position it right, they click that order bump. It takes the it takes the average order from seven or ten dollars to fifty dollars, sometimes fifty dollars to a hundred dollars. Come on, y'all. So that right there was the only reason why I went with ClickFunnels, but I absolutely love it. All my sequences are in there, it's absolutely phenomenal. This is not a promotion, but anyway, back to the pro <laughs> product launch. So listen, I didn't give y'all some nuggets today. Did I not give y'all some nuggets today? If you got one nugget, if you received one nugget today, do me a favor. Do me a favor and hit that share button. Hit the share button if you got something from this broadcast today that I was supposed to be on here for like 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I absolutely love you. Um, so one of the questions, uh, and keep asking questions, even if it's a replay, how long do you suggest a webinar series be? So if you're going to be doing your first webinar, I actually say thank you, Angie King. I actually say that you should do no longer than 60 to 90 minutes. I'm telling you. Some people go 90 minutes. That's too long for Keisha. Let me tell you. But then everyone else would have it. <laughs> um, OTO or is that different? Oh, yeah. A one-time offer. Yes, that's it. It's the order bump. Yep. Um, so I usually do 60 minutes, Dr. and Keisha. So great question. I do 60 minutes, but you know, that's just me. I'm I ain't gonna bore you to death. I'm gonna give you value. Y'all know I give you value on Facebook Live. I'm going to give you value on my webinar. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Sacconi. How you guys doing? Make sure you watch the replay. This one was good. Tell them, y'all. It was good. It was good, y'all. It was good. Watch the replay. Invite a friend on the replay. I'm telling you. Um, but yeah, so 45 to 60 minutes is good enough, to be honest with you. And listen, how many weeks? So, good question. So, you, if you are doing a launch, I would suggest you do a minimum of two to three webinars because you can do them at different times. And thank you for sharing. And you have to know your audience so you know when you 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 will do your broadcast. Like for me, I can go live or I can do a broadcast at 12, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon because my, my audience are entrepreneurs. So they're going to be available, right? Um, <laughs> hashtag worth the replay. I love it. I love it. I love it. So um, 
But when you are launching, I would start with a 14-day window. I always tell you seven to 14-day window for promotion. Now, listen, hear me out. I've seen webinars get up to 100 plus people in a matter of three to five day promotion, right? So that's just a webinar. But remember what I told you when you first joined? A webinar is only a small portion of a true launch. Hey, Sheila, sweetheart, thank you so much for joining. So it's going to take, this is why I, this is why I said to you, what are you launching in the next seven days, 70 days? So you have a good 10 weeks left in order to actually get your product out to the market. Hey, Willie A. Price, how are, how are you? So I do two to three over eight weeks, especially if a large percentage of the traffic is cold. Absolutely, absolutely. You have to do two to three. Let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to probably do about, I think I counted eight webinars over the next 70 days, eight webinars, because I have a goal. I'm trying to build my list, and we do have something that we're getting ready to launch. I'm getting ready to do eight. Some people are like, what? Are you losing your mind? No, I don't have a problem doing webinars. I like doing webinars. So y'all go see me out in April Beverly when you need it, okay? So great question. Any other questions or just that one 45 to 60 minute? I would suggest you do more than one, especially if you are new to the space, you've never launched before, please do more than one and try different times. So you might do one on a Sunday at seven, eight o'clock. You might do one on a Tuesday or Thursday at seven, eight o'clock. You might do one on a Tuesday at uh, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., right? That's fine. But you have to try different times, you guys. Don't do them on Wednesday night. Don't do them on Friday night. Definitely if on Friday night, you'll be by yourself. And you have to know your audience. On Saturdays, your girl is on the football field. So I'm not going to be on your webinar on a Saturday. Unless we all. I'm just saying, all right? Great questions. Keep the questions coming. If you are watching the replay, uh, Angie put hashtag work the replay. Please tag me. Let me know where you're from. Um, I, I love it. If you get anything from watching the replay, make sure that you share it out. Y'all have been truly, truly amazing. And so I'm out of here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the results of the poll. 91% of the people that participated today have not had a true product launch. So last but not least, we are in the process of putting together a product launch checklist. If you want access to it, type me. We'll make sure that you get it. Type me, and we'll make sure that we, we will get that to you. But you have to let me know that you want it. All right, listen. I am Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO, all things product launch and processes. Y'all know I love a process, right? Because there's a process to a product launch. But I'm out of here. Be passionate. Be purposeful. But more importantly, be profitable. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the same place, same time.